था What's up, YouTube? This is Chris with the Mobile Trust 360, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get past your school's firewall or proxy with a couple of easy steps. So, uh, first of all, I want you guys to know I got in a car wreck today. Um, it was not my fault. This lady came over into my lane and straight up hit me. So, I'm going to show you a preview of that. Here's my car all demolished. It only got this uh, left side here, so I just got to take the fender off, replace it, take this side panel off. It's held by three bowls, replace it, and replace the, uh, the, uh, the um, steering rod on the tire and get a new rim and tire which and then I'll be good and of course the airbag which is right here I've got to get those put back in um, that's probably saved me hardcore guys so if any of y'all drive please wear your seat belt and pray to God your car has airbags because that hardcore saved me today but yeah guys um, that was just a quick look at that uh, so what we're going to do we're actually going to go into extensive detail on this tutorial uh, for my school my high school of course they have command prop blocked um, which is not really something that you want to happen when you're trying to get past all their security measures. So if that's uh, if that actually happens, I'm going to show you two ways to get by that. One way is to go to run. Uh, if most schools have XP, so it'll actually be a run thing over here. But instead, since I have uh, Windows 7 or Vista, you're just going to have the run pretty much here. So you're going to type in CMD, and there you go. Uh, what this does, it actually accesses your command prompt. Um, if run feature is not available, which I don't really see why it wouldn't, what you can do, you can go to your programs, and you're going to go into Notepad. Now, um, honestly, I don't know where Notepad is on here. I always go and type in Notepad, because that's just the easiest way for me. So what you do now, what you're going to do, you're going to type in CMD, uh, you're going to click File, Save As, and then when you get here, you're going to save this as CMD, Dot .bat. What this is a batch file which actually executes it, and you click all files. So save this to your desktop, and close this out. As you can see, it has these two gears. This means this is a batch file. So if you double click on it, you're going to notice that it starts command prompt up, and you can do that from there. So uh, once you have that done, I'm just going to delete that. I mean, I won't use that at all. But those are two ways to start command prompt. So once you have command prompt open, what we're going to do, we're going to get into the really details on how to get into a website. So most proxies uh, block search engines mostly. Um, this is uh, one of the main functions of a proxy. Um, so to actually uh, say you want to go to Google and you, your proxy blocks it. So we're going to go to trace. What well, you're going to type in trace RT. I totally misspelled trace. Trace RT. You can click space and you can enter Google. So www.google.com click enter. What this is going to do is see 741259191103. So you're going to have to actually write this down. So I'm going to pull up sticky notes so I can just quickly jot this number down. So 741259191103. So once, you're, once you've got that um, that IP address, just go ahead and close command prompt out. This is You're not going to need it for anything else. So just go ahead and close it out. Uh, it might uh, continue to trace through that and as soon as it's done it will close out and you're going to open up your uh, browser you're going to go and pull up sticky notes so 74125 74125 uh, open sticky notes again 91103 so 91103 click enter this is going to redirect you to google and as you can see it's got the IP up here. So say you want YouTube, if it's blocked, MySpace, Facebook, you just, instead of putting www.google.com, you just, of course, put www.facebook.com or youtube.com. So um, if that fails, and they've got that blocked as well, which is what my school has resorted to doing, um, just go to Google, and since we're already here, that's great, and type in fresh proxies and then just click on the first one and it's going to say new fresh proxies google groups so click there and what, what it's going to do is you're going to redirect you to this page every single day somebody will post uh, proxies that, that are not blocked and they're pretty much usable so you're just going to click on today's new proxies whatever the date is today's may 26th so you're going to click there and then you're going to have a list of websites um, once you click on this a window is going to pop up and just click redirect to and as soon as it redirects to the page, um, sometimes if you click redirect and it takes a while, usually it's not going to work. 
and you're going to have to just skip through that. Some of these also say like stuff like this, they don't have a search bar, which is not what we want. So you're going to have to go through all of these and find one that has a search bar. So I'm just going to click on this one. This is just a random one. I haven't actually went through these at all. Probably would have, would have been a better thing to do before I actually done this. Um, but um, as you can see, we have one here that has um, has a search bar. So what you're going to do, you're just going to type in whatever you want. So let's say YouTube. Now nah, I won't go to YouTube. Let's try Game Battles dot com and click go. Now what Game Battles has done is they've not allowed proxies on the website so we should get a thing that comes up and says that proxies like proxies are not allowed on their website which is something good to kind of tell us hey um, this is uh, we don't allow proxies which actually lets you know that this is a proxy and it is working. Um, so for some reason this uh, proxy site doesn't look like one of the better ones because it has a huge advertisement and really nothing about the web page that we want. So uh, hopefully that this advertisement will go away and it will redirect us to our page pretty soon. So we'll just wait for it. And if it doesn't, guys, I'll just go find another one. I think that's what I'll do anyway. I don't feel like waiting on that one. So let's try this one and try this. Uh, more than likely, your uh, firewall or whatever they're using is not going to block it. All of these, so you're more than likely going to be able to find one that you can actually use and you can actually surf uh, on the internet. So this looks very similar. I'm not going to use that one. That's just a different address, but using the same scripting. Um, sometimes it is difficult to find one. I mean, I found that to be true when I'm at school. And I'm trying to get on websites that they block, which they pretty much block everything at my school that has to deal with video games. They apparently they don't want us to play video games. So we'll try here. So www.gamebattles.com dot com and click browse and hopefully this one doesn't have ads and it'll take us to the website without actually taking about 10 years um, so we're just gonna wait for this um, hopefully it loads fairly quickly um, most of the time if you're surfing with proxies you're gonna have some of these delays because I mean that's just how it goes um, but if it doesn't load guys um, you can just see how it's done as you can see there and you can just do that yourself and hopefully uh, get on the website that you want so it redirect, and for some reason it took us to the foodnetwork.com, which I don't know why I done that. But yeah, guys, um, that's one way um, to do that. So hopefully you've learned a lot from this. Um, hopefully I can uh, help you out if you need it. So if you need any help, just message me. Um, also, my 7K giveaway will be all my wallpapers, like the one you see here, which I believe is really awesome wallpaper. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be bringing some more tips and tricks for your computer here very soon.